Hello everyone, you are on the Omigurumi workshop channel and today we will make a train. It's made from my Osos pattern as an addition to the collection of surprise egg patterns. This team train is made of semi-cotton yarn. You can crochet it with any yarn and uh, the train will hold its shape better if you crochet it tighter and use a smaller hook. This train hasn't been tested with splash yarn, but if you want to make it with splash, I would be happy to see your results. If you are crocheting with splash yarn, I would suggest you add some cotton yarn in the color of the splash yarn, so that the fabric is as tight as possible and the train holds its shape. I'll add materials further to the video. For those who don't like to work from the video, there is a PDF file. You can purchase it from the link in the video description for the minimum price for my work. Start with the base for the train. The carriages are crocheted in the same pattern but differ in the number of rounds in the base of the train. We start uh, with a square. Make 8 single crochets in magic ring. Tighten the ring. You can make a slip stitch or you can continue to crochet uh, as you like. Now we will make a second round. As a second round to uh, make single crochet and increase four times. But the increase is unusual, three single crochets in one stitch. Make an increase again, single crochet, increase, and again, single crochet, Increase. When we crochet a square, always make increases of three single crochets in one stitch to make corners. And last time, single crochet and increase. Now we need to crochet three single crochets in one stitch. There is an increase. Then crochet three single crochets one by one. Since the increase should be on top of each other, we make increases in the center stitch. Now I'll show you. There is a central stitch. And we make an increase on them. To start the round from here, make two single crochets. Mark the beginning of the round. Now work according to the pattern. Three single crochets in one stitch and then three single crochets one by one. The increase is in the center stitch of the previous increase. Watch out for this.
Now crochet three single crochets. Increase of three single crochets in one stitch. Three single crochets next to each other. And uh, increase of three single crochets in one stitch. Make three single crochets. Now each round will be shifted by one stitch. So at the end of each round crochet one single crochet. Only then mark the beginning of the round. If you don't make an extra stitch before the beginning of each round, then all increases will move out and the square will be uneven. That's why we finish the round, make a stitch, and so on as long as we make the square. We have done three rounds. We will have such a square base, then we will move on to the sides. And we will have these carriages and locomotive. A locomotive and carriages are crocheted by the one pattern. Only the rounds number is different. I have already crocheted carriages for my locomotive and now I'll show you how to make them on the example of crocheting a locomotive. In the fourth round uh, we make an increase of three single crochets. Now we should have 5 stitches between the increase. Work for times in this way. 5 single crochets, increase. Crochet to the end of the round on your own. Round 4 is ready. In round 5 make increase of 3 single crochets in one stitch. 7 single crochets, increase, and 7 single crochets. Make increase, and 7 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, and increase. And uh, in this way, work to the end of the round. Seven single crochets, increase. Again, seven single crochets, increase. 7 single crochets, increase. Be sure to check uh, in each round to avoid shifting the center of increases. In the fifth round should be 40 stitches. Mark the beginning of the round and uh, in round 6 make increase of 3 single crochets in 1 stitch, 9 uh, single crochets. Start to crochet increases and uh, check that the increase is in the center of previous increase. Make three uh, single crochet in one stitch. And one, two, three, four, five, six, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, so we work three more times. Round six is ready. It remains to make one round and the base will be ready. In the seventh round we make increase of three single crochets in one stitch, eleven single crochets, increase again, eleven single crochets, increase, eleven single crochets, increase, eleven single crochets. Thus make increase eleven single crochets uh, four times. I finished uh, round seven. There should be uh, 56 stitches. Finish the round and you can make a slip stitch and now move on to making the sides. For the back loops only crochet round of single crochets. Uh, we have uh, 56 uh, single crochets in the eighth round. Work the full round only for back uh, loops only, so that the crocheting went up and uh, got the sides. We have finished uh, the round 8. Now make another 6 rounds uh, of uh, 56 single crochets. It's uh, rounds from 9 to 14 in a spiral way. We'll crochet uh, 8 rounds and go back to the video. We have done 6 rounds in red. Now I'm going to change the color of the yarn. I have a fluffy yarn and you can use another one. Cut the yarn, make a single crochet, grab the yarn, put the ends of the yarn inside the stitches. Make single crochet and put the ends inside the stitches. I hide so uh, all the ends of the yarn. And we make three more rounds of 56 single crochets uh, for carriages. These are the carriages you will get. At the base of the train will be more rounds, up to the 20th round. The carriages have up uh, to the 17th round. Let's finish uh, and go back to the video. I have finished the base of the train. Because the yarn is textured, uh, you can't see the difference uh, as much. To make the front of the locomotive, crochet 8 single crochets in a magic ring. I make a slip stitch uh, and uh, start to crochet the second round. In the second round make one single crochet an increase of three single crochets in one stitch and so on four times again single crochet
increase of three single crochets in one stitch. Single crochet, increase of three single crochets, and the last time one single crochet and increase of three single crochets in one stitch. Make one more single crochet or one slip stitch uh, so that the increases goes exactly in the center of the increases. Start the third round uh, with an increase of three single crochets. Make an increase. Three single crochets, so repeat it uh, four times. Crochet again, increase of three single crochets in one stitch, and three single crochets one, two, three. And again, increase, three single crochets. Make sure that the increases are on top of each other. Increase three single crochets. Make a slip stitch. In the third round, there uh, are twenty four stitches uh, in total. In the first round, make uh, twenty four stitches for the back loops only. The first round is ready. From rounds uh, 5 to 9, uh, 5 rounds in a total, make 24 single crochets. Let's finish and go back to the video. Here is the front of the train. You can press a little in the corners to make the corners more expressive. Crochet the wheels with six single crochets in a magic ring. Tighten. Change the color of the yarn to white. I make a slip stitch. Cut the yarn, leaving a small end. Now change the yarn color. Start a single crochet. Take a white yarn. And single crochet. And now you need to hide the ends inside the stitches. Make six increases. First increase, second increase, 
hide the end inside the stitch so you can change the yarn in another way. Third increase. Fourth. Fifth. And the last increase. In the second round are 12 stitches. Crochet uh, third and fourth round with uh, 12 single crochets by the back loops only. Mark the beginning of the round and make the third round all 12 single crochets by the back loops only. I finished the third round, crochet the fourth round again for the back loops only. Let's finish and go to the video. I finished the fourth round, there are 12 stitches left. The remaining loops need to be tied off. Cut off the long end of the yarn to tie in the hole and sew the wheel to the locomotive. Fasten the yarn. Don't stuff the wheels. Thread the needle from the inside from the inside to outside, only behind the front loops. Pull the yarn through and go through all 12 loops in this way. Now carefully tighten the yarn. Make sure that the yarn doesn't break. You cannot tighten it to the end. The wheel should take a flat shape. In a total you need two such wheels per train and four for each of the carriages. Make the large wheels in the same way as the small wheels. Start too with beige color with uh, thick single crochets in a magic ring and uh, then tighten. Crochet uh, things increases. In the second round are 12 stitches. Now Change the yarn color to white and cut leaving a small end. Begin to crochet single crochet. Grab the white yarn and uh, the single crochet. Then follow the pattern three single crochets and increase uh, for three times. The ends of the yarn hide inside the stitches. Make three single crochets. Increase. Increase. 
increase. One, two, three, increase. And last time, one, two, three, increase. In the third round, we have 15 single crochets. Make two rounds of 15 single crochets by back loops only. Same as for the small wheels. I crochet by the back loops only. And so on, make 15 single crochets. Let's finish and go back to the video. I've done two rounds. Now crochet decreases. Three single crochet, decrease. And so on three times. The rest of the loops need to be tied, just as uh, in the small wheels. Take a flat shape for the wheel, cut off the long end of the yarn to tie the hole and sew the wheel to the locomotive. Thread the yarn into the needle and fix the yarn. And now pass it through all 12 loops for the front half loop, passing the needle from the inside to the outside. Tighten the hole carefully so that the yarn doesn't break. That's it, uh, the hole is tightened. If there is a small hole, it's okay. The wheel should have a flat shape. Leave this yarn for sewing wheel to the train. In a total we need four big wheels for the locomotive. We use for the carriages only small wheels, four wheels per one carriage. It remains to make the pipe for the locomotive. Make six single crochets in a magic ring. Tighten the ring. I make a slip stitch. In the second round make six increases. The second round is ready. You should get uh, 12 single crochets. Crochet by back loops only all 12 stitches.
I finished round 3, the top should be flat. In 4th round we make decreases, 2 single crochets, decrease, and so on make 3 times. In the last 5th round we make 9 single crochets. When sewing on, stuff the tube so that the upper part of it remains flat. Cut the yarn leaving the end for sewing on. All the parts are ready, let's start assembling. All the parts are sewn by yourself. I will only show you where they will be located. For the carriages we take small wheels, put them approximately between rounds 8 and 9 and uh, sew the wheels so that they stick out one round above the base of the train. Attach the second wheel in the same way. Wheels are at a distance of about 3 stitches from each other. Do the same on the back side and so on. Stuff the base of the train so that it's flat and uh, doesn't stretch. Solve the front part from the bottom on the same level with the base. The base of the train should be sewn on from rounds 8 to 14. Make sure that there is the same distance on the sides. From the top we will sew the pipe. Make sure that its top part doesn't stretch. Sew the pipe between rounds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, between rounds 5 and 7 in the center. Sew the small wheels to the front of the locomotive in the center. So it's that one round sticks out from the bottom of the locomotive. Sew two more large wheels on the sides between rounds 8 and 10. Attach them with pins at about round 9. Make sure that the big wheels were on one level with the small wheels so that the locomotive isn't skewed. Now we saw the wheels, the pipe, 
We will only have to crochet a loop and sew buttons, so that the carriages clung to each other and to the locomotive. Let's assemble the train and go back to the video. I made this New Year's Eve train. You can crochet it in any color, not necessarily in a New Year's theme. I'm sure that you will get really nice and cute trains. On the back side of the train and carriages I sewed buttons. Now you need to crochet loops at the carriages so that they cling to each other. I'll show you the example of a steam train. Take yarn of the same color which you use to crochet carriages. Join in between round 7 and 8. Make 10 chain stitch. Adjust the number of loops according to the toy so that you feel comfortable attaching to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make uh, 14 chains. In the same place I make single crochet or slip stitch and cut the yarn. Fasten the yarn. Bring the ends of the yarn to the inside of the work. Fasten them inside too. Now we have attached all the carriages to the locomotive. The number of carriages can be unlimited. Thank you for crocheting with me. Please subscribe to my channel. You are waiting for many more interesting patterns.